When it comes to life insurance, one of the things that we're going to talk about today is the reasons why you shouldn't wait. And more specifically, we're going to go into this video four different reasons on why you shouldn't wait to get life insurance. The number one reason is the insurance cost, right? Pretty obvious. The younger you are, the cheaper it's going to be to own life insurance. But more specifically than that, or really the number one factor would be your health right? We never know what kinds of things are going to happen. And I mean, just look at what the last two years have taught us, if not anything, right? It's right now, 2022. And we've just lived through two years of a medical crisis that nobody saw coming. What does that impact? What kind of impact does that have on your ability to get life insurance, right? Your health is so vitally important. And right now you are the healthiest you are, we don't know what tomorrow will bring, and that's why you don't want to wait too long to start to put a policy in place on yourself. Reason number two is that at some point in your life, people are going to start depending on you. And wouldn't it be smart to have coverage in place now while it's cheaper and while you know that you can get it um, and not wait until later on when things are unknown and then the possibility lies that you might not be able to protect your family. Now, I don't want to seem all doom and gloom in that, right? But these are the facts, and these are the reasons why you shouldn't wait, right? You don't know what your health is going to be in the future, and at some point, people are going to start needing or relying on you and relying on your income. Number one reason that you should own life insurance is for that income protection for your family, Third thing you want to consider is your co-signers, right? If you're young, just getting started in life, maybe you have a co-signer for a car, maybe you have a co-signer for a house, maybe parents help take out student loans for you uh, to go through college, and some of those debts are not forgivable, right? Like student loans are not forgivable, and they'll, they'll chase you the rest of your life. But what happens if you pass away and somebody's co-signed on those for you? Well, now that's their responsibility. And so in thinking of that and being in that spirit, because they were able to help you, don't leave them hanging if, God forbid, you shuffled off this mortal coil early and stick them with this debt that they really took out to help you get ahead. And the last piece to really think about, the fourth reason, is funeral costs, right? You may say, look, nobody relies on my income today. I don't have any mortgages. I don't have any co-signers on my debt. But you know what? It still costs money. And I've heard some outrageous expenses for just even the cheapest of funerals. So consider that in the total aspect, because this is just a small piece that will play a part in your overall planning, right? So that's the fourth reason why you shouldn't wait. But Let's stick around. I got one more reason for you. So the last thing you want to think about is, right, in your overall mosaic, if you're building out a foundation, where do you want to start, right? Everybody wants to talk about stock market or real estate or cryptocurrencies or whatever the flavor of the month is and where they see people gaining. But are they laying the base foundation to create a proper plan for themselves? Because... When you build a house, you don't start at the roof, right? So if we think about financial planning in that sort of context, we want to work on building out the foundation, which can be the insurances that you have, and then building upon that to make sure that you're protected in every aspect of what you're trying to do and how you're trying to build out your life. It's a good place to start when you're building out your financial mosaic right? Let's build on this base and let's continue to grow. And by the way, insurance for life insurance doesn't have to be just the insurance piece of it. There's savings components depending on the type of policies you buy. So why wait to get started earlier in life? Because inevitably, all the older people that we talk to, the one thing they all have in common or that they all say is, man, I wish I started this earlier. Don't let that be you. Don't say 10 years down the road when you're trying to get started, man, I wish I had started this earlier. And that goes for everything. It's not just insurance, but all things that you want to get started on. The sooner you can get started, the further along you're going to be on that path five, six, 10 years from now. So no matter where you are starting in your journey, or maybe you're partway down, but you, 
you're not really sure what you should do next or how to get started, go ahead and click the link below. One of the team members will reach out to you and they'll help build out a custom game plan based on your goals and objectives. So again, just click that link below and somebody will reach out.